I've said it before and I'll say it again, MMOs are just better with friends. Whether starting out the game together or helping one through later on, jumping into massive online worlds alongside those you already know can make a great experience even better. And recently, I've been trying to get my existing friends in my MMO of choice, which is of course Final Fantasy XIV. And well, it's been to variable success. Each time I've managed to convince a friend to hop into the game with me, I have made a video out of it, and this occasion was no different. And the character that my friend made this time around was just as weird as the others in this ongoing series of mine. So without further ado, as always, my name's Lakaitem, and let's just get on with the video. So you have all your races. Yeah. You have basic boy human. Yeah. You have human with pointy ears. So tall. You have small human. Oh. oh you boy. have a human with cat ears and a tail. That that's that's very that, that, that um, no. You have a big boy, big beefy boy. Oh wow. And you have an edgy boy. What what is there any significance behind why the they edgy are boys? all cosmetic? So why why is what makes the edgy boy different? Is he's he just... edgy and he's different and not like other boys. Okay, but what if I just want to be small? No, no, don't okay. go near the fucking wall of fells. No, I'm not. No. no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be an edgy boy. Okay. Okay, I I want to be edgy boy. But I, I was looking at Edgy Boy, and there's there's this clan thing. So there's two okay. options. You can so have we're, regular. We're going edgy with Aura. Okay. So you have. Or you can range. go extra sharp. <laughs> you can go. You can go like kind of edgy, but also kind of pretty boy. Or you can just go straight edge and choose a Zayla. I I'll be I'll I'll be the sharpest Edgy Boy. So do you want to be Rain or Zayla? Uh, I will be. Uh, the purple one. Okay. Oh, tails. Let's see. Well, so, what skin color did you go with? Uh, I went for the one in the very top right. Okay. So the blue boy. Your tail yeah. shape. You can choose so your tail. Options. You have puny. You have a bit bulkier. You have a Kiryu Coco looking thing. Mm -hmm. And you have. Lanky. Ooh, that that one looks extra sharp. Yes, this one has many I, points on it. Yeah, that's oh the tail length. Ooh. Oh, is that the one Max, you're going with? Max yeah. tail length. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy, all of these hair the first like eight hairstyles are all incredibly sharp. Yep. <laughs> the second one, dude. Oh, Jesus. I am a lion. Yeah, let's go with that one. You're going with the <laughs> lion boy? Yeah. Alright, what color are we going with for hair? You can have highlights. I... So you can make a... Oh, my God. You can make black hair with, like, dead white highlights and to just look... You mm, can look like that's... Jim Benning. Oh, that sounds absolutely perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I think if you made the skin color more normal, that could actually look really cool. Yeah, but that's not what we're going for here. <laughs> what are you going for? This, this is Edgelord. Edgelord? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's, so that's... face. The one that it defaults to is freaking terrible. I'd say I'd... the first one is the edgiest. I, I'd say so, yeah. We got like the, the devil fourth, lords right the there. The fourth one looks like you've been dropped into I eye think... shape. I think it's already edgy with how he's glaring at all times. All of them are like that. <laughs> oh my! Three, three is <laughs> three is walking the line of racial stereotypes. Uh, four, yeah. four is relatively normal. That's not what we want here. Let's see. Uh, five just looks condescending, and six looks like five just got slapped in the face. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go with type one here. I think the default, that's pretty, that's pretty nice right there. Yeah, I'd say the default is the best one. Eye color, I mean, no. they're already red. Yeah. The eyes they're are already hot. red. What more can you do for Edge? Yes, of course, of course. All right. Now, now that we have this. Limbo ring, points. what the fuck is a limbo ring? I... 
Oh yeah, never mind. You need you need to keep those on. That's what make it edgy. Limbo ring color. Can we make it more red? No. Oh, you could make it white, and it just is glaring. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that that just looks like it's that. Yeah, that looks like it's from hell. I think if you have pure black and then the eye color is white, it just it's peak edge right there. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh god, if you zoom out, like you can still see those eyes just glowing. <laughs> He just glares at you from the corner of the room. He's perpetually bound. I'm just looking at the- uh, I'm, I'm looking at eyebrows right now. Oh boy. They're just all glaring. All of them. <laughs> it's a very angry race of people. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with number six, where he's in a perpetual scowl. <laughs> I'd like to see this guy using the emote scowl. It <laughs> just his face does not change. Like that would be glorious. Can he scowl any more than he already is by default? Should I explain I what these like... classes are, or do you not care as long as it's edgy? I I Ooh, Lancer, that's just pure black. Yeah, and that is like you have the blood of dragons and you're doing all kinds of dragon things. Yeah, no, this is the one. Lancer? I don't, I don't, uh I don't it's a melee DPS. Yet. I don't- I don't even need to see the others, this is perfect. Don't you want to see your magic classes? Because I know you like enough. mages. None of them are edgy enough. Listen, my... Thaumenturge is literally giant explosion, and you could just get a super edgy armor later on. You know, you- you drive a fair point. Okay, I'll go Thaumenturge. You could also get- you could also be a really edgy healer. And just choose Conjurer, and you could just, like, make yourself- Give yourself all black armor and say that you're actually a necromancer in headcanon. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I- look, I'm saying I'm edgy, I'm not- I'm not weird. <laughs> I- what, what are you Alright, so what about? are we going with? Because I know you like mages. So, there's Conjure, which is a healer. You could just get really edgy armor sets for all of these. You have Thaumenturge, which is just giant fucking explosions. And you I'll have go, Arcanist, which summons demons and summons dragons that destroyed the world. Oh, that one. It also that has a giant such... dong on its forehead. Such a stupid hat. Oh yeah, it's so dumb. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. We got, we've got, uh, fucking Honestly, Arcanist. I think it's kind of funny seeing your edgelord in Arcanist gear. Because it just looks so fucking stupid on him, and it just kind of makes the whole thing funnier. Oh, let's see. First name, Edge. Last name. Lord. Lord. Go with an E at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Does that actually- did that work? Uh, yes. Oh my god, it actually works. Has Edge Lord just been blown- just been brought into the world? We have done it. Should I skip this cutscene? Yeah. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. The Edge Lord is too edgy to watch cutscenes. I am too edgy for this cutscene. You expect me to listen to your blather? I am in Lim... Limsa... 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 That's a dumb name. Wait, wait, I need to, uh, to honor the fact that we're playing an edgy character today, I need to go into the edgy, the edgy glamour I made for the dark Loki version. Just oh, my good. current armor dyed black and I get a super black and edgy sword and shield that look a lot like your character's face. Are you loaded in yet? Oh, I see you, I see you, I see Edgelord. How do I grab? Oh, I'm grabbing the peculiar heart. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit, you're taller than me. No, this wasn't supposed to be like real life. I'm an elf. <laughs> you fool. The edgy race is the tall one, apparently. I've been bamboozled. All right, you gotta come over to the cool. big rock here and uh, put your hand against I need it. To... Wait, I need, to, I need to complete my quest. Doesn't matter. Just touch the big rock. Touching the big rock is more important than your quest. Touching the oh. big rock is eternal. Quests are temporary. <laughs> okay. I thought that was the point of quests. Reach out your hand and attune to it, my son. Take in its I power am... and make it yours. It is done. Fantastic. Am I... 
fucking cutscenes. Yup. For the first ten this? hours, this game is a walking simulator with cinematics. Oh boy. You are gonna absolutely fucking love it, and if you don't, well, I hate to tell you, you're still gonna love it. Fucking hell, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Swarzblit. My nemesis. I don't know my who arch. you are, but I'm going to kill you. It's my arch rival. My arch rival. Swarzblit. I've come to the heart of the the likes of you. How dare you bring me into a cinematic cutscene? How dare you? You waste our time with your petty games. Stop trying to teach me how to play the game, Swazblade. Edgelord has better things to do, like terrorizing healers and dungeons. People are gonna see a weirdo named Edgelord running around, and then seeing Loki Doki run after them be like, Ah yes, that explains a lot. <laughs> yes. Considering the most normal character we've had that one of my friends has made has been Tifa Lockhart where they tried to replicate a fictional character in a fantasy game to an absolute T that they had me pull up their birthday. This is this is our bar for normal. <laughs> Edgelord is the normal one. <laughs> Edgelord might legitimately be the most normal one yet. That's a very low bar. Oh yeah, it's a very, very low bar. Fair enough. The first guy was a little, uh, little black lolafell with pink, with a pink pompadour that was named Giggle Dick Pikachu. Oh, the second oh. was a cat girl with blue hair that was tied into dreads named Notice Me Senpai. Of course. The third one was Tifa Lockhart. And the fourth one is Edgelord. Yeah. We've come full circle. We've come full circle. Uh, and by that I mean we're just going in a straight fucking line. Uh, Does Balderon have another quest? Uh, he does, yeah, but I'm not on a high enough level. Oh, uh, does it need a level 4? Uh, let's see. Uh, Is it called Summerford yeah, Farm? Needs... Yeah. Okay, then we need to go kill some things. Edgelord, this is your forte, I believe. Take me to the things. Now, would you like to do things correctly, or would you like to do things as only an edgy man could, and fly to Cheating. find the highest level mob in the zone? Let us cheese the system by having a level 80 friend. Are we cheesing the system today? Do we not yes. have time to level normally? Screw fair game balance. We're off. I'm loading. Enter Lobo Lenosha, and I'm kicking you from my party. Wait, we need to go find a high level mob. Now then, get in the Are edge. Are you planning on abandoning me? No. As soon as we reach it? No, or else you'll pull everything in the zone if you go with me. Now, right click on my giant space Uber. Space Uber. Oh, wait, it's not. And then you just click ride pillin' and then just choose an app. Oh, just choose a seat. And then I'll carry ride you. Pillin'. I'll fly you around. Mount seat seven. Where? You're in the back of the mount. Let me explain how this is gonna work. How do I attack things? Edgelord, you're gonna right click on it. You're gonna hit an ability, and then I'm gonna instantly kill it before it absolutely destroys you. Activate. Hiya. Kill it, please. Now kill it. How much EXP did you get from that? Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is. Level three. We just need yep. a couple more of these. You're a spellcaster, so you can stand back, and I can just instantly murder it the minute I see it. Activate. Murder. Fantastic. Oh, it's out of my range, but it got mad at me, so yeah, I got XP from that. Cool. Let's go. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of where the highest level enemies would be in these surrounding zones, because if we can go fight level 40s. Yeah. I should probably go buy some Phoenix Downs if we're going to go do that, but... Who needs phoenix downs when you've got edge. Thing, Otherwise I can't res you if you get one tapped. That's fair. And like almost anything above level 10 in this game right now will one tap you. Oh. That'd be bad. That'd be very bad. 
We're gonna find some uh, higher level mobs. Perfect. Oh god. Is this thing gonna kill me instantly if I get out of here? Possibly. Okay, so just make sure it doesn't see you. Click on it and hit an ability. I got you. I'm supporting you. Wait, no, don't do it yet. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, shit. I got it. Did you get EXP? Oh. Uh, I, I'm no longer. No, I didn't get any XP. Oh yeah, you didn't. That makes sense. Okay. Um. So now you just need to use ruin on this giant pelican. I don't think this is a pelican, but I think this is very not a pelican. I'm pretty sure that's I a freaking. That's... I'm pretty sure that's a fucking dinosaur. I. <laughs> you would think so, but apparently not. Apparently it's a pelican. You know, I'm not. I'm not going to question Yoshida's wisdom. Uh oh, another pelican disappears. <laughs> Oh no. oh no! Uh, you're gonna wa you're gonna want to attack that one. I'll take it out, or else it's gonna come and ruins our. It's gonna come and ruin our day. Pets kill. Wait, this just sounds like I'm your pet now, cause I'm the one killing it the minute you say. <laughs> I am a summoner. <laughs> you are my last you level summoner. You summoned the level eighty player. Stale worm in Summerford Farms. Take me to Summerford Farms. Summerford Farm. Yeah, right. how do I go there? You gotta go kill some pirates in Summerfish Farm. I am an oracle, I tell the future. Alright, follow me. Follow me, child, to the you just ran land. in the room in a circle. I'll do it again. <laughs> no, please. Uh, your wisdom is incredible. Great, Master Lokai. I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> Where are we going? Running in circles is my pastime. It's a wharf rat. My arch nemesis. You can probably one shot it at this not one shot it, but you can like just attack it. See what you can do. Okay, see what you can do. What Test your abilities on this poor wharf rat. It wharf rat. Die. It'll have never seen it coming. Are you is that a person? Oh, you're in a party with me, so I I yeah, that just pulls everything, you're welcome. Make sure to kill both wharf rats. You don't need to walk around. They're not going to do any damage to you. I can just heal you back to full. Don't be scared of the wharf rats. You fought level 32s. Don't be scared of the level 2. Don't be scared of the level 2 rat. Come on, man. This they're is terrifying. Fucking, this is fucking pathetic. You fought dinosaurs that think they're pelicans. I don't know why they thought they Can you they not were fight some bugs and a rat without being scared? Look, I thought you are supposed to be edgy. These are very scary bugs. Oh yeah, very scary bugs. And make sure to. I'm just gonna go grab like 50 of them real, real quick. I'll be back in a second. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, it would really mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, make sure to check links in the description for my Discord server, Twitch, Twitter, and all that other crap. But with that, as always, my name is Akadem. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.